Let's see what is coming from the agents. So these are the results of the upcoming football matches that we sent to the large language model. So which is everything that we'll have here. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can build React agents with LangGraph. So I will demonstrate how you can build your own React agent using LangGraph. So we're going to use LangGraph, we're going to use Olama as a model, and we're going to use Tavili tool, which is one of the LangChain tool. Also, we're going to be building our own custom tool. So I'm going to walk you through all the installation process before we actually build our agent. So the first thing is we're going to set up Olama on our machine, and I'm going to show you how you can do that. So you're going to go to the Olama official website, then you click on download. So here you're going to select your OS type. So probably you're using Windows, so just click on download for Windows. So whenever you've done that, you're going to open your command prompt. So here you're going to type, um, so just type uh, Llama on it, so which actually confirms that it has been downloaded on your machine. So for this tutorial, we're going to use Llama 3.2, so which is the model that we're going to use. So I will need to pull this model so we can have it on our machine. So which is what I'm trying to do. So just use Llama pull, then you specify the model name. So which is what I'm going to use. So actually I have it there already. So also if you want to check the list of the Llama models or your machine, so just type Llama list. So it's going to show you every model that you've downloaded on your machine. So our next thing is to set up the tools. So we're going to get the API key for Tavili, then the API that we want to use, which is a custom API. So we need to go to the website. So it's live score API. We need to get the API key and the secrets from the website. So I'm going to show you how you can do that as well. So we go to the Tavili official website. So which is what you can see here. You're going to click on login. And you're going to go down to the API key section. So where you're going to copy the key. So which I've copied it. So you paste it somewhere. So now we're going to go to the live score API. So I'm going to explain what we're going to do with this API. So with this API, we actually want to create like a custom tool. So we're going to look for the upcoming matches that is happening in any country. There's an head point where you can get all those upcoming matches. So we want to query this endpoints where we can retrieve all those upcoming matches so let's say we tell our agents like oh what is the upcoming matches in let's say in england or in any country that is specified you should be able to get the probably the location the team that are playing and you can get the time and place so what you're going to do is you're going to create your profile then while there you're going to retrieve the api key and api secret so which is what i have here so you're going to copy both so now we're going to create a .env file. This is why I pasted the Tavili API key. So this is the spot API key and this is the API secret. So these three things, we actually did them for our tools. So these are the list of things that we need to install. So which is everything that we have here. Okay. So, and I'm going to import the libraries. Okay, so now I'm going to explain everything that we have under this class. So what this class is doing is is actually the one where we're getting the upcoming matches from the live score API, which I mentioned earlier. So and I'm going to explain everything that is inside the class. So from here, I'm getting the country ID, which is what we need before we can gain access to the endpoints that we want to use. And after I got the country ID, I got the competition ID here. So then I got the upcoming feature. So using the endpoints, and here is actually where I get the upcoming matches by calling the previous functions. Then I formatted the results to be in the exact structured way that I want. So which is why I have in here where I use the home name versus away name and the location and the time and place. So everything in summary is just like this is where I get the upcoming matches based on the country name. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a custom tool based on this um, class. So we're going to call the function which is the get upcoming matches and we are going to use it to create a custom tool. And I'm going to show you how you can create that custom tool. 
So to create the custom tool, we're going to create a function. So I'm going to call the function get upcoming matches. Okay, so where I'm going to pass in a query. So and put a data type of what I'm expecting, which is a string. Okay. And the next thing is I'm going to call the class, so which is the football data. So I'm going to call it sport two. So now using the object of the class, which we just created now, we're going to call the function where we're getting the matches. So I'm going to say return sport two dot get upcoming matches. Okay, so and the upcoming matches is expecting us to pass in the country name. So this is this is going to be the query which you have here, and that is what we're going to pass it inside the function. Okay, so the next thing here is I'm going to create a doc string. So this doc string is very important when you are creating a custom tool in Langchain. So the doc string is just like you are trying to give your tool a description. So when the agent is using it, it knows what the tool is meant for. So I'm going to create this doc string. So I'm going to say use this tool to get upcoming football matches. So and I will also add more information by saying provide the country name as the input. So, okay, so I'm not done with that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a decorator, which is at tool. So which actually shows like we've made it a custom tool. So now we've created a custom tool. So we're going to run this function because we haven't run anything. So we're going to run this and we are going to run this as well. So I'm going to indent this. So now we've defined our custom tool. So the next thing is we're going to initialize the Tavili tool as well, which is going to be the web search. Okay. And we are going to create like a combination of all the tools that we want to send to the agent. So to do that, we're going to say tools equal to, so you put everything in a list. So the first one is the uh, get upcoming matches, which is this tool, which we just created earlier. So I'm going to copy that. So, and this Tavili tool, so which is the web search. So the next thing is we're going to define a model and the memory server. So memory is equal to memory server. So model chat to Llama, then model equal to. So we're using the Llama 3.2b. So we're going to create a React agent. So we're going to say model then tools equal to tools so check pointer equal to memory which is what we defined okay so which is we just created our agent now i'm going to use the display tool to get a visualization of what the agent looks like so we're going to do display agent dot get graph Yes, yeah, so this is the visualization of everything that is going on. So we have the agent here, then we have the tools, then this is the ending of everything. So we are ready to send in our inputs. I'm going to send in some inputs where I expect it to use the custom tool that we created. Also, I expect it to not use the tool if it happens not to see something that is related to that. So I expect it to do probably use the Tavili tool. So let's send in our inputs. So what this is doing is just to track the conversation, like any conversation I have with the agent based on the thread ID. So I'm going to define the inputs now. So here I'm using the human message format, which is what I'm going to pass to my agent. So I'm going to say search for all upcoming matches in England. So I'm going to do agent.stream, so which is to stream the output. So I pass in the input config equals to config. So I'm going to pass this to a variable. Let's copy this result. Okay. So I'm going to loop through this result to get the output from the agent. So I've created a output to get the last message from the result. So let's see what is coming from the agent. So 
these are the results of the upcoming football matches that we sent to the large language model so which is everything that we'll have here so i'm going to hack small question i expect you to use possibly another tool so i'm going to take this then ask something different from matches So I will say search for top 10 foods in Italy. So, and I expect it to, you know, run the search. These are the lists that I, it's actually generated now based on what we hacks. So we said it should search for top 10 foods in Italy. So, and from my results, we can see the different lists that it's carried out so also when we look at um, when we were asking about the football matches you can see what happened it took up the get upcoming matches tool that we created which is our custom tool so that was what it used to carry how the tax so and for this it went down you know it pick up the tabular search tool you know that was what it actually used to carry how the search that we sent to it so and if we ask further question about anything related to football matches or something so it's also going to pick up that custom tool and it's going to run a search on it so this is just a demonstration on how you can create a react agent in land graph so if you have any question please drop them below also please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see related videos like this thanks for watching i'd love to see you next time